Okay, we're here at the Kata Institute at an installation. Uh, uh, Neil Young has a, we're listening to a, a recording. This is the recording about the song Amazing Grace. Nails put this together like this so you can just see. Let's show you for a second. Like that. It says, uh, it says, uh, a grace project. Now sweetly, you, uh, how now sweetly you scream. Now sweetly you scream, mother. Nail Myanga, right? In fact, I'm going to buy it. I'm actually buy it. It says, oh yeah, there you go. And um, I'm here with the uh, New World Warrior who actually can read the chart because he gives a chart in there in the album, I guess, but it comes with, with a chart. Now, you've been, you've been listening to this. Um, New World Warrior is not listening to me. He's listening to the record. Well, oh, you, 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 I'm you, listening you, to both <laughs> and looking at the chart, <laughs> listen. trying to find out where they are now on the chart because I didn't hear from the beginning. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to follow along. Now I'm trying to catch up or locate where they are because there's no lyrics. Yeah, because, you know, we have, we have the seagulls in here and everything. Yeah, I know. And right. see, uh, this is just for the music. Right. This is not for the ambience. Uh -huh. So you, the, what, the, the seagull is not on the chart. Right. And I don't see a violin part on here. He didn't chart that either. So I guess he just charted what the Christians know of Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. And then he added a whole lot of other to it and it's not charted. Uh huh. So I'd have to hear and it that, the beginning. And he's got some interventions and some that. stuff that he put in there. Right. It's quite an extraordinary piece. It's, Do it, you it, understand the lyric? Yeah, yeah. The opera lyric? Mm. I don't. Hmm. Oh, the opera, oh, she, the, her voice that yeah. she's singing right now. She's supposed to be saying something. Ah. Uh. Or is it just sound effects? I don't know. It's, it, well, remember, everything is vibration, whether you're talking yeah. or whatever. So her vibration still keeps the, the, the right. peace. I understand that. Yeah. But I'm saying I'm trying to understand it in context with the chart. Mm. And I'm not there yet. Mm. <laughs> That's why I was looking for you. said, I'm not listening to you. I'm, yes, I was. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where I am on the chart because you were doing the interview. Mm. And uh I was we, we just conversating because oh, okay. you know I, I have no way to enter this. You're okay. the one who can enter this. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But this is a beautiful project. Yeah. In fact, yeah. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy it and I'm going to uh, bring oh, okay. it up to. Uh, but see, I don't understand it in context yet. Mm -hmm. I'd have to sit down and study it mm -hmm. to find out mm -hmm. how it fits and what fits where. Mm -hmm. Because as I'm listening to the music, uh, there are several messages in here, mm. and they're layered. Mm. So you have to, like, I have a theater company, and my business partner, I don't know if we'll put out some yeah, yeah, talk, talk, talk. Uh, My business partner says, I need psychological help, because, oh, okay. <laughs> because I will take something that I really like, like the movie Sister Act. Mm. I watched it, because it's about South Africa, right? Mm. Uh, well, not Sister Act, um, Serafina. Oh, Serafina, okay. Yeah. I watched it about 22 times at her house in one day. She go, are you still watching the same movie? I said, sis, every time I look at it, I get something different out of it. Mm. She go, you serious? I said, yes, ma'am. If you watched it several times, you would too. Mm. She was saying, but you have to mentally prepare yourself to get one level of it. Mm -hmm. And then you get it solid. That's you your entry. That's, that's, that's your entry. That one level is your entry. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then you can go from there. You go you back and you listen to it, and you mentally prepare yourself on another level mm -hmm. to receive it. Like, um, she taught me something very powerful. She said, people don't know what they don't know. Of course. Of course. Of course. See what I mean? But what happens if you do know what you know? So you deal with the same thing, and you know it on a different level. Mm -hmm. So you move from this level of understanding, and you take all the information out of it, you take notes. Then you go back and you listen to it again. Oh, you know what this sounds like? What? It sounds like that when you first hear something, it then it, it then becomes past. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So you have to continue. No, you have to, what you do is you continually revisit the past, bringing it to the now. Mm -hmm. So you're leveling the now with the past. Mm -hmm. you, 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 and then once you, in other words, once you've interpreted interpreted it 
on every level is on. Then you can go back and listen to it one time and all of the messages say what needs to be said on all of the levels that is on. But that says something about your level of intelligence. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Some people who don't have the pro proper training will listen to it. it it's like a movie. Mm -hmm. You can take black people and white people, mm -hmm. put them in the same damn movie. Mm -hmm. They'll both come out having different conversations. Yep. <laughs> this, this is interesting. This record now, now the, she has an operatic voice uh -huh. right now. She's actually singing the song that we know as Amazing Grace. Uh -huh. But this is side two. This is the end of side two. Mm -hmm. Just now, this is interesting because what you said says because what's happening is that I well I started listening from side one, uh -huh. and it gives a story of that the Newton guy who wrote the song, you know, slavery uh -huh. and stuff like that. And then and so then you have all this other stuff like say the voyage, the uh -huh. slavery voyage. And now, near the end of the record, now we have the song. Mm -hmm. So if you go and to the you know, right? opera part first, you can hear the lyrics that clearly. Right, right. And that's right. all I'm saying. But it could have been some a message in there, but you have to understand what she's saying, the language she's saying in the end, or why she offering that particular sound effect mm -hmm. at that particular point. This is now, let me tell you what's more interesting. You said interpretation. Mm -hmm. Now, my interpretation is something different. Mm -hmm. Because the slaver, be. let me tell you what the interpretation is. I have a prelude to this. Mm -hmm. See, because I never knew who my father was. Okay. Right? But he, uh, the, the, word, the, 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 word, the word is that he was basically a uh, uh, Garifuna or a Garifuna. Okay. Right? Now, so here's my story. Because I have to make up a story for I have to make up a story for the person I never knew. Okay. So my story is that his father or his, his grandfather mm -hmm. was, was, a, a, was on this slave ship that the slaver had. Mm -hmm. Right? And as they as they transported, they got, when they uh, got to St. Vincent's Island, there was so, some problem. And so what they did was they had to, they, they took the, the captives and, and put them up and, and you know just let them go because mm -hmm. let them go into land because it's just an island. They can get them mm -hmm. later because they had to repair the ship. Wow. Well, now here's the thing: they were there with the, with the Arawak Indians, the Red mm -hmm. Arawak Indians that came up from South America, right? right? So, so, the, so of course, the, the slave, the the, the the captives talk to the Arab Indians, and you know, try to communicate. Say, hey, look, we blah 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 blah. Can you hide us? Can you do something? Yeah, right. so, so we what don't they want did, be, be yeah. enslaved. So what they did was they made a hole, right? Mm -hmm. And they put them, they put them in a hole to, mm -hmm. to hide them, right? And so when 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 this Newton guy, when the, when the slaver came back for them, mm -hmm. of course they couldn't, they, they couldn't find them <laughs> but because they had the thing that they thought these were these savages that they probably ate them. You see, mm -hmm. so they plus they had other stuff, so they had to get to their port. So they just, they just left. Now, so, so then, then what happened was the um, the, the this this slavers going to finish with this. The, mm -hmm. the um, so the slavers came back and they said, okay, fine. You, you know, the the oh, Arawak said, okay, you. Arawak said, okay, you, you you can stay on the island. No worries, no worries. Mm -hmm. But then after a while, you know, it started you know natural things. They started to mate, and mm -hmm. then what happens now? After a while, you have the black Arawaks. And the, and the red arrow rights. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what happens. Then England had this tiff with France, mm -hmm. right? So, 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 uh, so France went to the, now, then the black arrow rights was known as the fiercest fighters. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of tension. So, so France went to the black arrow rights and said, hey, look, man, we have this little problem with the, with the English, whatever have you, can you help us with that little battle? Mm -hmm. And they said, nah, man, we, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the Eng no, 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 no. The English went to the, to, to the, to the black oh. Arabs first, mm -hmm. right? Because they control the seas, and they and they, and, and, and and so they so the English told the um, the black Arabs said, "No, nah, that's a that's a white man's fight. We ain't getting involved yeah, with that, right?" Mm -hmm. And so they you know they went away. Then the then the English went to the the red Arabs and mm -hmm. said, "Hey, look, we have this thing da 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 da," and they said, "Okay, so we'll help you, right?" And then because that happened, then the French went to the black Arabs and said, "Hey, look, man, you know what's happening? Did that that that? You guys, you know, want you." And the black guy said, "Ah oh, man, gee, oh, okay, sure, we'll help you, right?" So, so then they got brother fighting against brother for white folks' cause. Where's the where's the? Is this not where the story goes? Right? Okay. Let me tell you where the story goes. So the English won. Mm -hmm. So the English went to the red eye and said, "Hey, yo, what you want? Because you know, you know, you know what? and they said we want these black guys off the island." <laughs> you know, we, we got to get rid of them. I mean, you know, we, 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 we want them off the island. The, the, the red Arabs want the black Arabs off the island, wow. right? Okay, now here's what happens. So the English who knew everything like that, they said, okay, fine. So they took all the black Arabs and deposited them on Raritan Islands over there in Honduras. Mm -hmm. Raritan Islands, they did nothing but rocks. Mm -hmm. So they started to migrate up to Belize, and then then south. 
you know, from from Honduras mm -hmm. down to uh, 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 Guatemala, mm -hmm. right? Down to uh, uh, Nicaragua, mm -hmm. right? All the way down uh, uh, to uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, Costa Rica, okay. uh, uh, Panama, like mm -hmm. that, all the way down, all the way down to Venezuela, all the way down yeah. because they're they're sea, all those black they're, 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 because they were they were they were basically fisher people by that but mm -hmm. the the, the Garifuna. So that's how the Garifuna. The, it depends if you say the English way is pronounced one way. If you say the right. Spanish way, it's, mm -hmm. it's pronounced another way. Yeah, so I just say Garifuna. I I, I say okay. them both, right? They, so that's why you have all these. So all all the Garifuna people, like for instance. Um, supposedly, my my father comes from. He was a traveling musician. Supposedly, he comes from. This is legend. Uh, comes from Panama. So he okay. from, from Cologne, Panama. You see, okay. like like for instance, I used to send for no more radio. I used to send a, a tape down. We used to do poetry, me and Chris mm -hmm. Grant, and send it down to Bluefields, Nicaragua, where there's a got a phone for, for a okay. radio station down there, right? But anyway, so I've been all all of from. Um, uh, I did a whole series, a whole uh, a documentary, audio documentary, mm -hmm. that because I went and visited all the villages, right, mm -hmm. from or from Puerto Barrios, uh, which is in Guatemala, then over to Livingston, Guatemala, mm -hmm. which right now, uh, Livingston is being taken over by the by, by the, 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 the whatever the. The people that were there, so the, white people. Yeah, well, they might as well be white, you know, the, mm. the whatever. Black and white. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what happened? <coughs> it's changed now. So they're taken away. So that Garifuna culture is now listening from Livingston, which was a magical place. Mm -hmm. Now you may not, you may not think you know Livingston, <coughs> but you do know Livingston because if you ever see that early Tarzan movie mm -hmm. where he's running down the waterfalls, mm -hmm. that's called the Seven Altar Waterfalls. That's in Livingston, Guatemala. Wow. So when you when you hear when you hear them saying Uga Booga in mm -hmm. those movies, right. La Booga is a name for living is the, the name for Livingston, Guatemala. Wow. So they use that, that Booga, that mm -hmm. that's how they that's how they got into right. the movies, you see? Right. And then across from it is Belize. And and they took it as an intro. But well, it's an actual language. But it, 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 says, well, they, it wasn't an incident. They just, they, they, how would the natives speak? And they say, La Buga, 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 you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. the, it comes from La Buga. That's the name. Right. The, that's the good for the name or the, in, right. in the for, for, for that thing. Mm -hmm. across, right across from there, you have Belize, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have the, 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 the village across from there is Barranco Belize, which is the home we call the home of the Red Snapper. Mm -hmm. I spent several times in, 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 in there. People yeah. look just like us. Mm -hmm. In fact, one time I was coming in, a little kid ran and told this guy, oh, yeah. So, yeah, so he says, your, your, your grandson is here, mm -hmm. right? because I look so much like him. Right. And I also was in uh, well, well, uh, Porto, um, uh, Punta Gorda is, a, is, is, is the next thing up, is a big town up. Mm -hmm. And then on up, you have places like uh, St. Bay, Tangriga. Um, the only people, that, uh, the Griffin people that's in town is this called uh, yes. uh, Georgetown, which is like inland, but everybody else is you know, all the way up to, uh, and then they get up to Belize City. So there's all these little villages like that. Mm -hmm. And each one has a historian. Right. Like that. Real. You know, that. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it was really amazing uh, trip. I spent like four months researching this, well, researching like that. It was well, very. You can do the good to take me over there, but I wouldn't leave. So, well, I didn't. You know, I hate this shit. Oh, this <laughs> The word warrior. Your name says warrior. You're supposed, wherever you go, you're supposed to be warrior. Anyway. I do, bro. But there you I go. I have no choice. So don't be. Do so, 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 so you don't be hating on something. You, you, you can hate it, but if you if you're motivated by hate, not to correct you, but if you're motivated by hate, how is how are you going to you know be successful? Because they don't know. want to be helped. You know, you're, you're, I'm like spinning my wheels. I feel like a hamster on no, a wheel. Well, that, 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 that's, 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 your, your responsibility is not. But you think you're some major general? You, you think you like Shango and you, 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 you no, know, which troops no. are like that? No. I'm just a servant. That, man, that's I tell you what, my, what my, my, my motto is. What's your motto? The greatest day in my life was when I realized that I don't run the show. There you I only came to mop the floor. No, I no, am, no, 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 no. I am the creator's cleanup guy. But don't get it twisted. I'm a bad motherfucker with a mop. <laughs> I got you. I, no, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Then, then you're true to your name. Well, yeah. Because if they you know, want that's the that's knowledge, what? I would take them all the way home. Mm -hmm. But they don't want the knowledge. Anyway, and it back, hurts. back to so, so what I'm trying to say. So okay. when I'm listening to this record, mm -hmm. I'm hearing my own lineage. Mm -hmm. Because when because he from becoming a slave, he got saved, he got turned, whatever. Then he mm -hmm. became this staunch Christian and abolitionist. So he said, 
Well, no, but this is historical fact. It mm-hmm. became an abolitionist. You know, that's what this song, Amazing Grace, that's mm-hmm. the, so when we're listening to this album, Nail's interpretation of this album is what it is. But I'm trying to say, like, like you were saying, like we will st- we'll, we'll go where we started from. When you're saying, when, when, when you're listening to it, you're hearing one thing. When I'm listening to it, I'm hearing that story I just told mm-hmm. you. You see? And, but it's an amazing thing. So I'm based on your knowledge base. Exactly. And that's that determines exactly. your understanding. That's your right. So let's go back to what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. You're saying they don't hear us. They're spinning their wheels because they don't have the story. Mm-hmm. Now, what, what they they haven't been properly orientated. Yeah, but you see, misoriented or miseducated. But even if they deliberate. hear, but he, because we've been so inundated, when we hear the story, we, we, how are you going to get the, the uh, let's call it the warrior mm-hmm. interpretation to, right. to, to move on? They'll hear the story and, and hear the servant mm-hmm. or hear mm-hmm. the order defeat, yeah. the defeated. They can't know? get the medicine because they were trained as a victim. Okay, now we got to stop talking about they because we are they, they are us. Yeah, but they, we are not. So there we go. But I don't practice what they practice. <laughs> and although, as the story goes, they have for the grace of God go out. There you not go. too long ago, they were me. There you go. I was there. I am there. So, the so I, I, I thank Nero for this fine, uh, this is uh, really a, a, a good interpretation. The other one is about oh, Mary McCabe yeah, and my This is a way deep conversation. So I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to buy this and bring it up to. Uh, uh, John, uh, Professor uh, uh, James Conyers, okay, and bring it to him and say and, and gift it to his, to him. Okay. I think this uh-huh. lady, I'm, I'm telling him everything we we just talked about. Uh-huh. All right, man. But I'll let him hear. Well, yeah, well, he going he going to have it. He going to have to hear it. I suppose. You know, yeah. And you know, he, he's into jazz and stuff like that. Anyway, New World Warrior. Hey, man, it's been wonderful you, uh, to allow to, to, for you to hear hear what to hear can, what can I just said. The pleasure you know? of, of uh, sharing a meal. With the divine universal African mind. Mm. There was no food on the table, but I'm full. Mm. <laughs> New World Warrior. And I'm me. Man, and I love you just like that. Every day. Every day. Me being T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. And you can take that to the bank, baby. <laughs>